So in the spirit of uh, fixing things here, let's fix uh, the like button to work with our new URL setup, okay? So let me go to my uh, text editor here and let's go to like.php because like is where we do the act of liking. Now here, if you notice, we are looking for the get ID, right? Which will not be available once we uh, we we just put slashes there. So now, what I will do, we're looking for ID and type here. So what I will do is simply assign them from the URL, okay? So I will do this at this point here. This is like.php. What I will do is say die, just so I can uh, show you what's going on. And then I will say uh because if i go back to router.php there's url split url right so let me copy this and then i will go to actually let me copy this whole part here let me copy this then i will go to our classes and then that is a uh, function.php, is it? If I am not mistaken, no, actually it's config. Wait, connect, is it? No, it's auto load, sorry. So in here, we're going to replace all this. Boom. Like that. Okay, so that we have, even though we don't use router, we just use index, we will have access to all this. So let me come back. Now I want this variable URL where the URL is split. So copy that, come back to like.php and then I will say show URL. So we are using, um, where is this function here? Escape, check notifications, tags. Oh, so we don't have a show function, do we? No, we don't. So let's create create the show function here. Let's go to the very end. So all it's doing is displaying uh, some data. So function show, I will say data like that. And then we're going to display it nicely. So we use some pre tags. And then uh, this will be a closing pre tag. And then here we'll do print readable data. Okay, that, uh, that does it. So let me go to directly there to like dot php let me remove everything at the end just the like dot php like that go to undefined function uh, split wait a second so this is an auto load there now the reason we have this error is because at this point where we're calling split uh, we we haven't loaded our function yet. Uh, our function, uh, oh, actually we have there. We have loaded our function. So why isn't it working? So let's go back to router here. And that's because this function is put in here. So all I will do is, um, now we cannot repeat a function as well. So what I will do is, because this is at the top, this page is at the top, so I will just copy this, go to functions, and put the function there. Now I may get an error because split URL is already declared, so what I will do, I'll just put two there at the end just to differentiate it. And then when I come to autoload, I will choose the second one, the one with number two. So that should work. It's just the same function doing different things. Okay, so there we go. So we have index in there because that's the only thing that's uh, 
uh, working at this point. So index. Now, if I put more things, oh, actually, I just have index dot because there's dot PHP here, which is a, an actual file, so it ignores everything else. So what I want to do is let me close auto load. I want to go to like.php and then at this point I want to echo out uh, the type comes first. Let's go back to our our posts here. So if I hover on the like button, you will notice that in the link there is like and then let me just copy a link location here and let's paste that here. So as you can see, there's the first item, which is like, which is the first, uh, which means the page. And then there's the, the post, which means the, uh, the type, right? And then there's this one, which means the ID. So there's a zero, one, two. So all I need to do is set these guys at here. So what I will say is this, I will say, that type is equal to URL. So what number is this URL? Its uh, type is here, so zero, one. So it's number one. And then uh, let's copy this. Now, the thing is, it's possible that uh, this will not be, this may not exist, right? So if it doesn't, we don't want an error here. Uh, wait a minute, he's set. Okay, so what we will do is we'll say get type is equal to URL one. Let's ask if this is set. So if that is set, then uh, that's exactly what we're going to set it to, right? But then, if it is not set, we'll just set it to no. So type and ID, those are the two things we are using. So ID is obviously on number two, like that. And that should actually solve the problem here because what other variables do we actually need? And that's that's actually it. So let's give it a shot here and see if the like button will actually work. So refresh and let's like something, click. So definitely it's not working. So let's check if our console has any errors. So unexpected character at line one. So what this tells me is that uh, there is a response coming back, but it's not JSON data. That response is not JSON. So that will be easy to fix. Let's go to posted PHP. And let's come back here to response where we're handling the result. And I just want to do a console.log so that we can see what errors we are getting. So console.log result like so. Let's come back here and then I will refresh the page, click once more. So this is what we are getting here. So it's saying undefined, undefined index one, right? Also, where is this? Undefined index one or unidentified offset of one no index of id so let's see this one that's 25 28 and 29 so this is happening in the php page so wait a minute 25 28 29 in like ajax dot php oh so sorry this is my bad but we will keep this here so i will remove all that this will be kept here for those that are not using Ajax. So let's just copy this. 
and then let's go to like dot um, ajax where are you like dot ajax inside ajax and like dot ajax right there okay so let's look for where we start to look for the uh these get variables right so let's come here there's id and there's actually type get uh what is this value so we are going to see what this is about but before uh let me do actually i can do that right at the top here there's no reason why not to do it at the top so we'll do that here so that we set those variables here in advance and let's see if that actually helps so let me refresh and let's click that okay so there we go again undefined offset one on line 28 but otherwise it seems this is the only error we get once we fix this one uh, we are getting some good json data here so let's come back to line 28 where are you 28 so there we go get value zero so we are looking for a very specific uh, thing here it's saying undefined offset one which is value one so where is value coming from so value is coming from the explosion of uh, where is string coming from okay string is coming from the query okay mm -hmm. okay so these zero and one we can replace with this url one and two right so let me come back here and let's say uh, url one and url wait a minute url two Uh -huh. okay so this was for the query strings wait a minute okay so this is not working because we don't have our query string anymore so what i will do here is uh, why actually are we using these here oh i see because we were extracting them from the link itself right so we don't actually need to do this so let me just undo this we can simply ignore this we were simply setting the get variables here so that uh, they can be available here which is exactly what we have done already there so what i will do here is this entire location here is pointless so I would just put a comment there like this. So this right here has been replaced by this. So let's see if that actually works for now. Refresh and let's click like. Okay, so those errors are actually gone, but uh, let me click again so it's still saying like is equal to zero so what is it saying here type error info element is no wait a second here let me come back to let's see now the result is correct now it's a it's a valid json data so that's fine so if i come back to post.php i can remove the console.log there for the response now we can just deal with the errors that come with it so it's saying uh, info element is no so let's click on the thing to look at the code itself so sometimes it won't take you to the code so what i will do is just get info element copy 
So if you look here, it shows you exactly which function uh, call has that issue. So it's response here, which was sent from Ajax send and so on until from the click. So response is our function, which is this one right here. So it's telling me that uh, info element is no. So where is info element? Why is it no? 